Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jay Makori, and today we're going to talk about eyebrow tutorial. A lot of people have been struggling to do eyebrows, personal have struggled for the longest time ever. So let's start it. For the eyebrows, guys, you need a brush or a spoolie. Make whichever brush that can comb your eyebrows, you need it. So for me, I'll go for a spoolie. Yeah, you need a concealer and uh, you need a loose powder. The importance of a loose powder, guys, is that uh, most of the people when doing their eyebrows, like there, you know, that time when you're done with your eyebrows, it looks so oily, like you can differentiate where the hair has stopped from and where the pencil you've drawn the pencil from. So let's start it, guys. You comb your brows, guys. Make sure you comb your brows. Maybe whichever thing you're using, maybe a brush. You can also use a toothbrush. So long as it's a clean toothbrush, use it. So I'm using a spoolie, guys. So comb the brows. And when you're combing your brows, comb depending on the shape of your brows. Like don't force any shape that is not on your hair on the brows. So follow the shape of your brows. Like here, it goes up. And the other side, just follow the shape of the brows. So you take your loose powder. It's not so much to use a loose powder, but I find it like it helps the brows to pop up, like it guides you so well. So you take your loose powder. Brush it. Okay, the importance of the loose powder is to guide you, like, uh, you know, you just have that shiny, I'll say the shiny look to go, so that's your brows to come out well. You take your brush again, or pulley, comb it. Remember when you're combing your brows, follow the shape. Once you're done, guys, take your pencil or whichever you're using. Could be a gel. I'm using a Davis eye pencil, number three. Make sure your pencil is sharp, guys. So you take your pencil, you draw a line. You don't just draw, you know. You be careful when you do that. But don't go past these. Don't, when you do that, you'll exaggerate it. So don't go past this angle of the eye. And when you're starting, start from there, guys. Yeah. And one thing, another thing I realized, guys, when you're doing your browser, don't raise them, you know, like that. I've been doing that for the longest time ever. When you do that, it just gives you another shape. So just be calm, relax. Don't raise your brows. When you do that, we come to the upper side of the brows. And when I'm doing my upper side, I don't start from here. I start it from here. And when you're doing the, you know, the line pose, guys, don't overdo it, you know, like you go there, just follow. Again, follow the shape of your hair on the brows. Just follow, you know, where the hair starts from and where it ends from, just follow that. It will guide you, it will help your brows pop out well. Again, guys, when you reach, I see that the act that from there, like it's just, you know, automatic. When you're following the shape of your brows, it just guides you. Don't force it, like, you know, you're here and you force an act from there, don't force it. Just follow the shape of your brows. The people whose act starts from there, the people whose act starts from there, you know, it depends on the shape of your eyebrows, which everyone is the same. So don't copy anyone's brows. Just do it. And when you do your upper side, make sure it meets the down line that you had drawn before so that it helps you to shed in. So once you're done, you know, with the line, now shed in, fill in. And when you're filling in, start from the tail. Mm -hmm. 
Again, guys, when you're doing it, you know, when you're filling in, just follow the shape of your blouse. And when you're here, you see where I started this blend from? You start shading in from there. And when you're here, follow how your brows grow. Follow the shape. Do like this. I'll make sure again, your pencil or your, whichever you're using the eyebrow gel, is sharp. You just follow your hair. And for this part, guys, let's just be gentle, you know. How ho you hold your pencil matters. And there we are. We're done filling in our browser. You take your spoolie or brush, whichever you're using, comb it. When you're combing it, just follow the shape of your brow. And when you do your brows, guys, just go with the shade you want. Don't necessarily use, you know, add this number three. You can use number eighteen. Just do whichever number you want. So once we're done with drawing the brows, we're now going to conceal the brows. I'm using an Elipro concealer in the shade Fawn. So what I do with the concealer, I just put it on my arm. I've been seeing people, you know, they go just straight with the concealer and do it under the eye. Okay, you can do it if you want, but I'll advise you to use a brush, an angled brush. So for that, I'm using the brush to conceal. So we come to the upper side of the browser. Let's conceal. And when you want to conceal the upper part of the browser, I'll advise you to use the shade same of your foundation. Like use your foundation to blend the upper side so that it'll be easy for you to blend it out. Because when you use a lighter shade, you know, it's so difficult to blend it. So I'll advise you to go for your foundation. Whichever foundation you're using, just use it to conceal the upper side of the browser. Again, when I'm doing my upper side, I don't start from here. I don't start from there. I start from here. Blend it in. I don't think there's a blend it. You can use anything. You can use this small blender for the eye. You can use a big blender. You can use a brush. Just do what fits you. Once you're done, you take your brush, you take your spoolie, and comb it now. So guys, uh, you see how the brows pop out well, so I'm going to use each step I've followed doing the side to the other side.
wird dann der Eyebrow Guys. Okay guys, so if you like this video, kindly subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and also you can turn on the notifications by ringing that bell. Kindly guys, comment below if you use this tutorial, if it helped you. Thank you for watching.